Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last episode we got halfway done with completing our tanker ship. And we're going to do the other half at this time. So we should be able to get this done relatively quickly, especially if we don't forget to bring Bill along. That was definitely not awkward at all. So we're going to open up our starship tanker here. Although this is not the real starship tanker. This is of course the construction component that we need to bring up. So we just need to bring this up a second time. That'll be absolutely fine. Assuming we don't lose this booster, that'll be very awkward for us. We do not need to bring these docking ports. Those are now unnecessary. We already have the docking ports that we need. We also do not need to bring these along. So I'm just going to ditch those. Fantastic. We can bring Jeb Bill Bob. That'll be absolutely fine. Looks like nobody's oversleeping this time, and that would be a good thing. So overall, this should do the trick, and that will get us to where we need to go, in theory. So let's save that and put it out on the pad. We just want to launch this thing straight away. So off we go immediately, as soon as it loads, and we are going to do basically the same launch profile with the recovery of the Super Heavy, hopefully. Although last time that was definitely dicey, but I think we can pull it off fairly regularly, even with the low apoapsis. That was not, I think, that bad of a deal. So let's just throttle up, go to Kill Rot, and let's get out of here. I really don't like the wiggling up here on this thing, but yeah, this is more wiggling than there was last time, isn't it? Intriguing. Actually, I think there was wiggling at this stage last time, but once we started the gravity turn, I believe it wasn't too bad, if I recall correctly. But this should be more stable than this. No doubt about it, but I believe we were able to successfully navigate it previously. Okay. I really don't like what we've got going on here. I'm going to try to fix it. So we're just going to head off over this direction. And I'm just going to park it, or actually I'm not going to park it. I was just looking at the apoapsis here and I'm just like, we need to keep heading over. So somewhere around here, it's a pretty delayed response to input. No doubt about that. And we should also be keeping an eye on how much burn time we have here. Okay. It's definitely improved once we start our gravity turn, but it wants to pull up to the north quite a lot. No doubt about that. I just want to hold here for a few seconds. Yeah, when we start holding, this starts happening, which isn't great. But when we're turning, it doesn't happen, which is intriguing. So we've got only a couple seconds of burn time left here. So 15, 14, 13, 12, cut off. And off we go. Okay, so now, of course, I just want to be locked to prograde. And that's indeed exactly what we're going to do. We're going to push our apoapsis height up to 150 and call that good. We're not burning at the horizon because I don't think we have the thrust to wait to pull that off. But this is a doable thing. So we're going to be ditching our fairing shortly. We're at 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. There we go. Fairing is out of here. That'll mean we're carrying a little bit less weight, which is always a good thing. And we'll just continue to burn prograde here. I would like to correct our angling a little bit. So I'm just working on that. We definitely do need to get a little bit of burn there. We can pull that off even further, actually. Down over, like, here. It's very awkward, but we'll do something along the lines of that. That should be better as far as our heading goes. I don't think it's perfect, but it should be good enough for now. And we can see that we're at 111 for our apoapsis. Okay, 112, 113, yeah, looking okay for now. We're, of course, going to need a pretty hefty burn to get into orbit, but we just need to target that 150 marker for the time being. 
We should also remember to extend our solar panels. That will be a helpful thing. There we go. 125 for the apoapsis. And we just want to continue to push that up. Time to apoapsis is not particularly high right now. I'd like that to be at least three minutes. And it's two right now. But hopefully by the time we hit 150. I'm going to physics warp a bit here. No, it's not going to be up that high. Okay. 225 is going to have to do. We need to hop over to the tanker here. That's the debris. I want the probe. Okay. There we go. Hopefully two minutes will be enough time to do this. I think it should be. Yeah, it definitely should be. So we're going to need to move this to surface velocity minus. We are facing exactly the wrong way. And we're going to deploy our air brakes. Okay. Actually, it's not exactly the wrong way, but it is certainly the wrong way. We are starting to flip around here, using our air brakes to reorient. Looking good. Okay. Once we get in position here, I'm going to begin a re-entry burn, just to help us hold attitude. Keeping eight seconds of burn time left. Okay. That looks great. And we're on our way on in here. We're going to need to lose quite a lot of speed. I'm just getting us ready for our shoot deployment. We're definitely increasing speed here, which is absolutely noted. We're going to start decreasing speed fairly soon, but we need to begin a burn soon as well. Okay, commencing burn. Shoots out. Fantastic. Shoots will deploy shortly. I'm going to commence our our braking burn, or rather our landing burn, as soon as shoots deploy. We're three kilometers up right now. And shoots are deploying now, commencing burn. Okay. We can see we're at about a hundred meters per second here. Looks solid. Bringing us down in terms of speed a bit. With a very low energy burn. Okay. Overshot it a bit. And there we go. Successful splashdown. So we'll recover this. We had zero seconds of burn time left there. I love it. And we're going to recover that vessel. Fantastic. So that is, of course, a very big deal that we're able to recover that so regularly. That saves us a huge chunk of money. Incredibly important. Of course, in reality, they don't use the shoots, but the shoots make it a lot less dicey. So that's what we're going with. That'll be okay for now. We still need to do a propulsive landing to recover it, to be clear. The shoots just help. They help us hold attitude better and... That's honestly the most important part of it. They do slow us down a little bit, but th that attitude is the most important thing. So next up, we need to grab our Starship Tanker ship, which is on a suborbital trajectory. We can see it's past its apoapsis already, so we gotta start burning here. And we want to just be locked to prograde, and we want to commence that burn. Unfortunately, that coast phase wasn't quite long enough, but we should be able to still make an orbit here. So we're going to head over to Prograde, and I'm just going to commence a burn here. We need to get a lot of horizontal speed, and I just want to go to horizontal velocity up. I don't want to burn down at the Prograde marker at this point. We should have plenty of time to get ourselves into an orbit, even if it's not an optimal orbit. Yeah, we can see our apoapsis is going up here, but we just need to get our periapsis up into orbit. Okay, that's not quite into orbit, but it's pretty close. We are going down right now, and we are going to need to transfer some of this fuel, which we expected. And I want to burn us radially up over this way. So I want to go to radial up. And that's going to raise our periapsis and lower our apoapsis. This is not going to be the most efficient thing in the world for fuel. But that's indeed the target for right now. So we're just looking for a periapsis of about 150. 
Like I said, not the most efficient thing in the world. Looks like we're losing efficiency on that burn. Okay, we'll call this good enough. And from here, we need to set our target to be this starship tanker ship, I believe. Yeah, that should be correct. And we're already in a slightly awkward position for that, right? We're basically at the periapsis right now. So what we need to do is we need to actually burn retrograde a little bit here. So let's just get oriented for that. And we need to drop our apoapsis down to about 150. So I'm going to commence a little bit of a burn here to help us turn. But this is a reasonable angle to go, I think. Half a degree? Okay. Noted. So we're just bringing down that apoapsis to about 150. That'll be fine. And this is a close enough to circular orbit that I'm not too concerned about it. So from here, I want to get ourselves into a intercept trajectory. So when is that going to need to be? About here or so? Hmm. Looks like it needs to be here, but plus one orbit. Or minus one orbit. And plus a little bit on the velocity. Yeah. About here. That looks decent. And we can dial that in a little bit. What is the uh, relative separation of that? 12.6? Okay, we could definitely try to dial it in with inclination a little bit, but that's not going to be the most efficient thing in the world. 11.8 is probably good enough. We'll just have to do some corrective burns. We can do some radial changes and maybe move it in a little bit, but it's not going to be much. So we're just going to have to do some corrective burning here. That's okay. Let's align to the node. There we go. And commence this burn in about two hours. There will be a number of orbits here, which is absolutely fine. Let's warp on forward as we orbit. About one hour to go here. Okay. Okay. Looks good. We'll need to align to this node, of course, which we'll do fairly easily with our reaction wheels that we've got here. 40 seconds until the burn, and we're now lined up nicely. 20, actually, now 20. 10, and mark. So off we go. And we're just going to get this all set up here. One meter per second to go. Cool. That'll do. So next up, of course, we're going to put this into Kill Rot, and we need to make our way on around to the Starship Tanker Ship. So we need to set that as our target. What is this here? Oh, we've got two Starship Tanker Ships here. Which one is which? <laughs> That's an interesting question. I'm not actually sure. I guess we'll just need to make our way on up, but we're probably set on target for this one. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like we're not quite on an intercept trajectory. Let's just make our way up to about here. How far away from these things are we at this moment? We should be pretty close. Okay, there it is. We can see it's about 37 kilometers away right now. And this is not the orbit that I expected to be in at this time. We're going to have to burn closer to the target. That's not the worst thing in the world. We can definitely do that. We're pretty off on this orbit, though. This is not the orbit I expected to be in. This is an off-nominal insertion, and I guess that's okay. We can make our way on over this direction. I'm going to burn towards the target a pretty hefty amount here, making some small corrections. That looks better. I want to move it out over this direction. Continuing to bring that in a little bit. Yeah, we're starting to lose some efficiency there, but that's okay. So we're going to call that good for now. And we're going to need to move around to target velocity minus. I'm going to warp us in to about here, about three minutes into the future. And we're going to have to do another corrective burn. I'm still not sure if we want this tanker ship or this tanker ship, though. One of these is fake, and I don't know which one. So I guess we'll make our way up to here and find out if this is the real one, and if not, we'll go to this one. They're only a few kilometers apart. 
So that shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to need to push this target over to the retrograde node. So that's going to be a pretty hefty corrective burn here. That's okay. And we're just going to bring this guy on over here. Okay, I want to be on kill rot. Okay. Something kind of like that, although that's not perfect. We had a little bit too much rotational mom momentum, and we're going to have to get rid of some of that and make our way on over here, but that's what the reaction wheels are for. The reaction wheels absolutely getting that under control. Okay. This is about the angling we want to be at here. We're going to need to come all the way over this way, though. Because we're a little bit too far down, and we're going to need to burn about here or so. Okay. So we're now headed towards target, and this is going to be 2.3 kilometers. We should warp in a little bit closer before we do any additional burns here, because we're going to drift more. And that's understood. So we're now about 3.3 kilometers out. I want to do another corrective burn on the prograde side. So we're going to flip this around. Because we're only 18.4 meters per second apart at this time. So I want to move out over this way and bring us in on the prograde side so that we drift less. Okay. Bring this in on the prograde side. This momentum on the turning is a bit spicy, no doubt about that, but something about like this. Now we're going to need to move to retrograde. We're moving in at about 80 meters per second. This seems good. 0, 0.0 kilometer separation. I like it, but we're going to need to start braking soon. This looks like this is the real starship that we want to connect to. The other one is not, and we probably want to untrack that, most likely. Okay, we're turning very slowly here. I'm going to RCS our turn. Because we need to get over here. Okay. We massively overshot that because of turn speed. Okay, there we go. So that's kind of better, <laughs> but we definitely have a lot of momentum in this thing. So we are in a better position here. It's not perfect. We're going to want to make our way around a bit here. I want to point at target. So turn speed is a bit of an issue, right? No doubt about that. Turn speed is a bit of an issue, but we're going to head over this way. Why are we heading up here? I want to point at target. Head to target, please. Not relative velocity. Target. This is not the target direction. Or actually, it is the target direction. We were in physics work. Gotcha. So we want to head towards target at a relatively slow velocity. Something like five or so meters per second. And I want to bring this down and correct this velocity a little bit down this way. Okay. There we go. Now I want to flip us back around to retrograde. This time, hopefully, we'll get there a little quicker. I'm going to use RCS to turn this around. Cool. And, of course, we're going to want to eventually control from here and get this docked up the way we did previously. But for now, this will be absolutely fine. I think. We're very slowly turning. We have eaten up about half of our distance. But we are almost in position for this burn. Yeah, we'll be fine. It looks like this is not as ugly as it was previously. That's intriguing. Okay, well, we're almost in position for the burn here. Very, very close to being in position. I'm turning RCS off. And we are commencing this burn. Just slowly slowing it down. We're a little bit off the burn point right now, but I wanted to buy us a little bit more turn time there. Okay. So at this point, we can RCS it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to RCS it up over to here. 2, 1, 0. Okay. RCS off, please. So at this point, I want to control from here. Kill rot, please. Control from here. And I want to hop over to this guy. I want to control from this docking port, setting this docking port as our target. And I want to point at target with both of these. 
Okay, so we're going to let them get into position. We have built up a little bit of momentum. That's fine. We're going to be able to RCS that off of here. No problem. And we just need to get into position. So that'll be absolutely okay. Yeah, this is definitely cleaner than it was before. I might still want to remove this component, though. I probably do. It's unnecessary mass. If we can remove it, we'll see how realistic that ends up being. So we're, of course, going to have to get these lined up. This is not the role that we want, that's for sure. Okay. So that'll be reasonably fine. Now I'm going to turn RCS on, and we're just going to bring this on over, like so. There we go. And now I'm going to head towards target. Very slowly for the time being. So point one, I just want to have this visible, but I do want to sit at about point three, point four, somewhere in there. We'll just sit here. Yeah, that seems, that seems very maneuverable. Okay, cool. Next up, of course, we are going to want to rotate. So we're going to want to rotate this to match the rotation here as best as possible. And we're going to have to get in a little bit closer as well. But something along the lines of this. This is over-rotated, I think. We're going to need to bring it back. Somewhere around here or so. And of course, we're going to need to adjust our RCS, which is expected. We're going to have some amount of drift. Okay. Now we can warp in a little bit, keeping an eye on that drift. And just get a little bit closer here. Yes, we are drifting off. That is understood. RCS on and adjusting that drift. There we go. Drift adjusted. How are we doing on our angling? I feel like our angling is not as good as it could be. It's pretty close, though. All things considered. It is pretty close. I'm going to grab this fuel here, and we're going to move it in. So we want to move it out of this tank, and I'm going to get rid of this tank. This is going to impart us some momentum, but that's fine. We're going to have to adjust this, and this guy might get shoved out of the way a bit. Okay, so this tank is now empty. This is unnecessary mass that we do not need to carry. Get out of here. Fantastic. And I want to still be controlling from here. With you as target. RCS. And we're going to need to adjust that, because that's going to push us this way. These are pushing each other apart, right? And we just want to point at target, checking on this roll. It's pretty close, but I think that we do need to roll a bit. Not that way, the other way. Roll a bit this way. That's real close. Okay. One last momentum adjustment. Retract this solar panel. And we're docked. Beautiful. Okay, so that will do as far as these fuel tanks go. These fuel tanks, this one's a lot more full than this one. Given the launch profile, I'm not surprised by that. But we know that we can pull some of this fuel out. No doubt about that. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to pull... Hang on. I'm going to pull some of this fuel out of here. In fact, all of it for the moment. And then we're going to do that. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. I want to keep maybe around 100. I guess 90 is fine. Then a little bit of oxidizer, something like that. That should be about right, but it's not going to be perfect. That's okay. We're going to refuel this with another starship as soon as we are done with this component. So, Bill is going to EVA here. He's going to climb right on down, and we're going to get this all set up. So, RCS on, please, Bill. And we are headed this direction. Cool. So mission number one here, of course, is we want to bring ourselves to a bit of a halt. And then I want to make sure that this is connected up over here. There we go. And then I want to connect this down over here. 
we're not quite in a position for that. So I guess we'll do that for now. And we need to head down this way. Bringing that back to a halt about like that. That's close enough. We'll just connect this here. There we go. And then this guy would connect here. And then this guy would connect here. Looks good. And then the fuel tank should be right up over here. We just want to keep the mass as similar as possible. But there we go. That is that fully installed. No problem whatsoever there. We're now going to have Bill hop back in. His work here is almost done, actually. I wanted to remove this, if we can. And indeed we can. Beautiful. So I'm just going to deposit that in space. Cool. We're just going to get rid of that. That will become space junk. So we're going to hop back over here. No, don't turn your RCS off, Bill. Thank you. There you go. Just grab on. And now what we need to do is we need to undock here. Before we do that, I'm going to furl this solar panel. And we're going to undock here. There we go. And then, Bill, I want you to... Bill, where are you? Bill, I want you to grab this and just deposit that in space as well. We don't need that. Okay, so we are now done here with our Kerbals. So we're going to have Bill board... And this has a small amount of fuel. So for now, all I want to do is I want to position this in orbital retrograde. And we'll just wait until we're clear here. We're actually kind of clear, but I don't want to burn with our engines like millimeters away from that fuel tank. <laughs> we're probably going to end up bouncing here. Yes, we are. That's okay. Let's just wait until we're clear. Continue to drift. And we are now clear so let's get a little bit of speed here we're gonna have to actually activate this engine that would help get a little bit of distance we'll extend this solar panel and as long as i'm thinking about it we'll extend this solar panel as well there we go and we'll leave our uh le rather large amount of debris behind and let's deorbit this so we're going to target about 10 kilometers for our periapsis height we've got plenty of fuel to do that Excellent. So that'll do. At this point, we no longer need to keep this around, so we can ditch that. There we go. And we'll be at surface velocity minus. And let's just warp until we hit the atmosphere at this point. Excellent. And we'll bring these guys down safe and sound. Then all we need is one more refueling of our tanker. And we should be good to go on that front and make our way out to the moon at long, long last. So that's absolutely fine. We should furl our solar panels, though. There's no doubt about that. Otherwise, they're going to blow up very, very soon. So downward we go. Our heat shield should be, yeah, slowing us down a good amount here. All looks good here. No problem. So that's our tanker completed at this point. All I wanted was those additional strap-on tanks, and we're going to pull from the strap-on tanks as we go out to the moon and do our maneuvers there. The idea here is that we can fully refuel in one trip to the moon and back, rather than having to take, like, 20. <laughs> that's the overall concept anyway. So we'll have to refuel it a bunch of times in low Earth orbit, but that's a lot easier to get to, right? No doubt about that. So let's just make our way on down here. This is our last manned flight for this, like, construction phase of our tanker system. But I'm much happier with this tanker system than what we were doing before. It was a little bit of a side tangent, but I feel like it's going to be very worthwhile for us. So we'll just recover this. Absolutely no problem. Yeah, this is overkill on the, on the shoots, no doubt about that, but it's okay. Downward, we gently waft. So we are going to get a payment for this as well. And then we're going to get a payment not for the refueling mission that we're going to do after this, but rather for moving the tanker out to the moon, refueling it, and then putting it back in a parking orbit around Kerbin. That's going to be the idea. So let's land here. Fantastic. And we'll recover that. 
Very small amount of cash being recovered, but we will get a payment for this, which is convenient because that flight costed us basically the same amount that we're going to get back. We're we're kind of treading water on that one. I think we made a tiny, tiny profit. It's very expensive to launch this, though. There's no doubt about that. So constructing this tanker and then sending the tanker out and then every time we need to deliver fuel to the moon and then and then bring the tanker back, that will be considered a mission. But refueling the tanker in orbit will not be. And the reason for that is because we're intending to be able to recapture almost all of those funds. So we do get a payment here. That'll be fine. And that is going to be 200000 There we go. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to do one last Starship refuel of our tanker. And then we're going to take the tanker out and refuel our HLS. And then we can do another Artemis mission. <laughs> it's been quite a detour, but we needed to get this fuel infrastructure complete. So now that that's mostly done, this should be fairly smooth sailing from here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kintogen, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.